Welcome to RK Tutorials, Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timishanko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 3.3 and problem number 3.35. Referring to this given figure, prove that if the equation of the curve OB referred to the coordinate axis X and Y taken along two adjacent sides of the rectangle OEBD is Y is equal to K into X to the power of N then the coordinates xc and yc of the centroid c of the area shaded spandrel obd are given by the formulas xc is equal to n plus 1 by n plus 2 into a and yc is equal to n plus 1 by 4n plus 2 p that means we have a curve like this and the equation of this curve is y is equal to k into x to the power of n and there is a horizontal line here and this equation is y is equal to 0 and there is another a vertical line and this equation x is equal to b. Now the area bounded by all these y is equal to k into x to the power of n, y is equal to 0 and x is equal to b that is this shaded area. Now our interest is to find the centroid for this area bounded by all these three lines. I will consider a small rectangular strip like this which is at a distance of x from the y axis and the width of the strip is dx let the height of the strip is y. The height of the strip y is not constant. The height y depend upon the value of x. So we need to find the relation between the height of the strip with respect to this x. For that one equation is given the equation of the curve y is equal to k into x to the power of n. Now let the centroid of this small strip is this one and the coordinate of the centroid for the small strip is let us say xg and yg. First I will calculate this xz and yz which are nothing but the centroid for this small rectangular strip and I will integrate that xg for this entire area. Hence the x centroid of the strip xz is equal to x plus this dx by 2 and this dx is very small so dx by 2 is neglected with respect to the x hence xz becomes x and the area of the small strip dA is equal to y into dx hence the x centroid for the given figure xc is equal to integral xg dA by integral dA where xg is equal to x dA is equal to y into dx. Now first let us calculate the numerator that is integral x g dA which is nothing but x into dA I am substituting y into dx. Now the integrand is x and the x limits are varying from 0 to a. So integral x g dA is equal to integral 0 to a x g is nothing but x and y is nothing but the given equation y is equal to k into x to the power of n dx. So now I can go with the integration integral 0 to a k into x to the power of n plus 1 dx. After integrating this k is constant x to the power of n plus 1 integration x to the power of n plus 2 by n plus 2 and the limits are varying from 0 to a upon substituting you will get k into a power n plus 2 by n plus 2. Now I will calculate integral dA that is integral y into dx and y is the equation is k into x to the power of n that is the given equation the given curve. So by performing the integration x to the power of n integration x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 the limits are varying from 0 to a so you will get k into a to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1. Now the x centroid xc is equal to integral xg dA by integral dA. We calculated both the numerator and denominator and by substituting and after simplification you will get the equation xc is equal to n plus 1 by n plus 2 into a. Similarly the y coordinate for the centroid of the given figure yg is equal to integral yc. yc is equal to integral yg dA. Integral dA we already calculated that is k into a to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1. So let us calculate the numerator that is integral yg dA and you know dA is equal to y into dx so and y, yg is equal to y by 2. So y by 2 into y which is nothing but you will get y square by 2 into dx. 
but we know y is equal to k into x to the power of n. So by substituting that 1 by 2 integral 0 to a because integrand is dx and x limits are varying from 0 to a. So integral 0 to a y is equal to k into x to the power of n whole square. Now you can do the integration now. I can take k square outside. So you will get k square by 2 integral 0 to a x to the power of 2n. And by performing the integration, you will get k square by 2 x to the power of 2n plus 1 by 2n plus 1. And the limits are varying from 0 to a. By substituting, you will get k square by 2 a to the power of 2n plus 1 by 2n plus 1. Now, the y coordinate yc is equal to integral yg dA by integral dA. Integral yg dA we calculated as k square by 2 a to the power of 2n plus 1 by 2n plus 1. And integral dA we calculated as k into a to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1. So, this I can easily simplify. That is k square by 2 into a to the power of 2n plus 1 by 2n plus 1 into n plus 1 divided by k into a to the power of n plus 1. So k, k gets cancelled and a to the power of 2n plus 1 is here, a to the power of n plus 1 here. So you will get 2n plus 1 minus n minus n. So finally you will get k, k gets cancelled. So you will get k by 2 into n plus 1 by 2n plus 1 into a to the power of n. But we know y is equal to k into x to the power of n is the equation. For this point b, what are the coordinates? The x coordinate is a, y coordinate is b. So by substituting into that equation, y coordinate is b, b is equal to k into x coordinate is a to the power of n. So at point b, b is equal to k into a to the power of n. So here k into a to the power of n, I can replace with b. So you will get n plus 1 by 4n plus 2 into b. This is the answer.